Hi, it's Tom Hughes with, with Randy Decker from the Red Wing Public Library today, and we're at the library to find out how to check a book out. It's changed a little bit, hasn't it? It has changed. Um, in the last few months, it's changed even more. We used to work um, with these self-check machines that had barcode scanners, but over the last couple of months, we've implemented a new system called RFID, which stands for Radio Frequency Identification. And it's a system that allows wireless communication between tags we have placed in all our materials and these machines, so you can check out things wirelessly. Now, it offers us a lot of benefits on the back end, things as far as efficiencies, as far as checking in materials, as far as finding things on the shelves, as far as doing our weeding reports, all the stuff people never see who use the library, but it also offers stuff to people who use the library um, in terms of these self-check machines and in terms of increased security. Um, so I'm gonna show you today how we check out things using our new self-check machines and RFID. Now, do we have to use the machines? No, you okay. don't. Um, you all can right. always come to us at the desk and check things out that way. Um, or you can use the self-check machines. There's no, um, we're happy to, to talk to people if they want to come up and, and uh, see us. Is yes. it still that? Oh, <laughs> no. is, are we supposed to be quiet in here? Uh, Quieter. Reasonably. We hope you don't bother okay. other people. But Not as loud as you and I are talking. Exactly. Now, right, okay. Exactly. Um, so I'm going to show you how you check out with RFID. All right. Now, you'll need your library card to use these machines. All right. And just like before, you scan your library card under the red barcode. And then you take a book or a DVD or a music CD, whatever, and just put it on this pad. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be face up, face down, doesn't matter where you put it, it finds it and checks it out. And then I just take the next one. And again, I can put it anywhere on there, and it finds it. And again, a third time, and it finds it. When I'm all done, I press this end session button. If I want a receipt, I hit the print receipt button. If I want no receipt, I press that. In this case, I do want a receipt. Prints it out right here, and you're all done. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah. And how long, usually, typically, do you get to take a book out for? Everything we have checks out for two weeks, and most materials can be renewed two more times. For a total of six weeks, you can have something. Now, um, that only applies if no one else has requested it, because if someone has asked for it, we won't renew materials, because we want people to get a chance to check out different things. Sure, and how many items can we check out at one time? DVDs, the limit is 10. And, um, books, 10 at a time? 10. Oh books, God. the limit is 200. <laughs> we, we rarely find people who check out 200 books. Read 200 books in two weeks? Yes, that's, that's a system software limit that um, we never saw fit to change because people never check out well, that Well, I would anyway. think, yeah. So. You're trying to, you'd have to have a truck here. And <laughs> yes, yes. People, people helping really, you, yeah. Some people really fast, but not quite that fast. Well, that's a lot of books. Yes. And how, do you know how many books are in the library, round numbers? We have roughly 70,000 items, and that includes DVDs and magazines and books and music CDs. Now, books itself, I think, the number, if I had to guess, is around 60,000. Wow. Um, that's most of our materials. Um, the magazines and DVDs and music account for the rest of it. And where do you get your books? Most of them we buy from a supplier called Baker & Taylor. They're a, a company that supplies libraries. If we can't find something from them that somebody's asked for, we'll go to Amazon or we'll go all sorts of places to get things. I imagine yeah. there's people that come in and go, oh, the new yeah. whoever book is coming out. Exactly, and we try and be really responsive. When people ask for something, we'll do our best to buy it for them, as long as it fits in our collection and our budget. Sure. Um, you know, we're not gonna buy a $10,000 rare book that only one person ever wants Come to see. Come on, I want to see that book. <laughs> well, if it was for you, we probably would. Well, I'm sure, yeah, right away. But not, not anyone else. Well, this is so. really a cool system, and um, how about if, what, what happens when we bring our materials back? What do we do then? You still just bring them to the desk right up front there. Um, there's no automated material handling uh, on this system. So just bring them back right over there, we'll take care of them for you. Okay. Or you can use the 24 hour book drop that's outside. Um, you can put it in the slot there by the door and we'll take care of it from there too. Excellent. Okay. Thanks for the help today. You're very welcome, thanks for coming over. I'm Tom Hughes with Randy Decker at the Red Wing Public Library. Thanks a lot for watching Red Wings Channel 6.